Okay, I'm at home now. I planned on doing most of this at work on the clock, but I got to make sure it works. Um, my other laptop I'm using for something else, so the one I take to work, I had to install my programming software. Dug out some test stuff. I'm going to use some of these chips here. My 16F688 chip. I don't really use those anymore. So, yeah, I give that to work. Yeah, keep that light on. So, I um, just got a real basic test here. Some of the LCDs I got on sale. Yeah, these actually look real cool. It's still got the plastic coating on it, so it looks even more sharp if I take that off. I mean, these are nice. So, I don't know. I might donate that one to the cause. I got them pretty cheap. These were on sale for like 15 bucks each or maybe even less than that from New Haven. They were like clearance. I don't know. Or I'll use it for tests. I'll take it off and I'll give them a two-line one. I don't know. But I got another one still. Even if I do give them the one, I got another one still in the wrapper. I ain't using these things all that often. So so I just have a... Trying to remember how to set up the 688 chip. And I got it set it up right the first time. So a couple little potentiometers to a couple of the inputs. See low pressure. I'm simulating the pressure being... Voltage being all the way down, which would be the pressure all the way down. And then... So to 255 counts, that's what I would set up, you know, analog to digital reading. And then uh, that'd be about halfway right there. Another pot. Of course, I uh, ran out of, I'm not going to both put that much, many characters on that line, so I cut off the end of it. And then this one's just floating, this pin, if I probably touch it, I'm sure it'll vary. So yeah, I might just put like a little some messages on there like if it's an alarm or something and uh, low pressure and high pressure from the transducers I'll have to make a lookup table uh, for these to actually read accurately um, so 10 volts I'll have to divide that through a voltage divider um, to make it 0 through 5 volts that's pretty easy and then a 0 reading would be 0 psi and 5 would be the 100 so should be pretty easy to make a lookup table. Might be able to do a little bit of math to do it even easier. So. And uh, then I'll be able to have the dis it display the pressure. It'll be a pretty cool digital readout. It's going to be a pretty badass uh, setup, that's for sure.